Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful week. Today, for my devotional, I'd like to share from the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read these verses with me. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the Spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world and the world listens to them. We are from God and whoever knows God listens to us, but whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. Amen. In today's passage, the Apostle John says that we must test every spirit because the danger of false prophets is very real. He wrote this warning message to the believers in the New Testament time. However, Today as well, we find many, many false teachers and false gospels all over the world and they do exist as physical groups and they are spread out everywhere online. And John tells us that there is a way to test these spirits and know if they are true or false. Testing spirits does not mean that we pick and choose teachings based on our personal preferences. It means that we must apply objective, biblical tests as we carefully listen to what is being taught. We read verse 3 together. The most important test relates to who Jesus is, which should also motivate all of us to learn what God's word tells about Jesus, about his identity as the Son of God, who came to earth to live as a real human being, as well as his teachings about love, faith, prayer, salvation, and God's kingdom that guides us how we should live our daily life. If you have some time today, I want to encourage you to read this passage one more time and meditate on it. As we continue to read and learn the Word of God, I hope and pray that the Holy Spirit would give us discernment to test the false spirits and He would also give us His wisdom to help others around us to encounter the love of Christ and the true salvation. Let's pray. Father God, we pray that you'd be with each one of us today. Lord, we need your guidance, the guidance of your Spirit. And Lord, we need your wisdom for discernment in every choice we make. Lord, today we are once again reminded that there are many false teachers and false gospels in this world. And Lord, they are serious problems. And at this time, Lord, we lift up our children especially. As they continue to grow, Lord, we pray that they may grow as your disciples in this world. Lord, let them have a strong desire for the love of Christ. And let them serve the Christ as their Lord and King. Also, Lord, let your word be the foundation and the cornerstone of their everyday life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.